Hi and welcome to another Raspberry Pi tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to install the HomeKit app to pair your devices to your iOS 8 or above device. First you want to go to developer.apple.com https colon slash slash you want to make sure it's secure. Next you want to click on Member Center. Just log in with your Apple ID and once you're there, click on the SDK section and you here, welcome to the developer section of Apple. Next, you want to click on Xcode and so you just want to scroll down a bit and this is where the key information is. Now everyone can get their app on their Apple device. So program membership not required. Previously you'd have to pay $99 to do this, but now you don't. Now you want to you click on download and you want to download Xcode 7 beta. Once you click on that, it's a 5 gig file. I downloaded it already, so I'm going to cancel the download and open my downloads. And there it is, Xcode 7 beta.dmg. You want to open it and then you just want to drag in the app to the application shortcut and just give it a few seconds. In, yeah, just give it a few seconds. If you can see in the corner, it says preparing to copy. So this takes some time depending on your hard drive and specs. So mine's just done and I'm going to open it now in the applications folder. Xcode's a beta. There it is. Give it a few seconds. It might say verify. Mine did. There it is. Just skip past it, then click open. This might take a few seconds too. Now welcome to Xcode. So then you want to open Safari, go to the following link, https colon slash slash developer.apple.com, just hit enter. And then you want to go back to the link and do slash sample dash code slash WWDC slash 2015. Now that you're at the sample code, you want to scroll down all the way down to where it says HomeKit Catalog. Just give me a second, it's at the H section. There it is, HomeKit Catalog. Click on View Sample Code. Then you want to click Download Sample Code. As you can see, it's Xcode 7 and iOS 9. Now you want to open the HomeKit Catalog and select the HM Catalog Xcode project. That should open in Xcode. Just give it a few seconds and there it is. Welcome to Xcode. Click on the HM catalog. Now that you're at targets, add a random word before the bundle identifier. Okay, that's it. And now in team, just select your account once again. Hit fix issues. And hit choose. If it says resolving code signing issues, just hit done like I did and click on it again and it should do it itself. There we go. Now you want to hit make sure your iPhone is plugged in. So I'm just going to quickly plug in my iPhone. Okay, I've not still plugged in my iPhone. So let me go select my iPhone. There it is. Now I'm just going to hit build and run. So when you click on that, you should see all the code should start to compile. Almost done. This is Swift, so it compiles a lot faster. You can also do this on an iPad because it's a universal app. Oh, there, there we go. We got build succeed. And now welcome to the iPhone segment. There you can see the app is successfully installed. HM catalog. Just click on it. And if it works, you know the app successfully installed. So you can see I have some pre-configured accessories. In my next video, I'm going to show you how to pair the accessories. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.